All right, ladies and gentlemen, DC is in the house. David Adams Card World Live Breaker Lounge. It is Monday, which means late night with DC Monday Mixers. This is the 2020 Hockey Mixer Break. 15 boxes, 31 spot, random team break numero uno. All right, so you know how it works. We take the teams. We find out how many times we're going to randomize said teams. Three or more, and that is a six. All right, so now that we have that... I grab all of you in a family-friendly, fun kind of way. And I randomize you seven times. Uh, letter break. Yeah, I dig that. That's a good idea. I like that, Kyle. I'm going to write that down. This is also going to be a show that is going to be in part dictated by y'all. If there's something you like, you let me know. I try to make it happen. If there's something you don't like, I try not to let that happen again. So the more vocal you are in chat and on uh, Instagram and Facebook and all the other areas, uh, you're going to get some feedback. You're going to hear and see some changes. All right, let's, let's go. Uh, the LA Kings go to Brian R. Henry H. gets Edmonton. Michael T. Ottawa. My Buffalo Sabres going to Peter C. David R. has Winnipeg. Colin Calgary. Jonathan has Jersey. David R. has Florida. Patrick F. has Boston. Richard Q. has Colorado. Michael R. has Carolina. Dan H. has Dallas. Colin L. has Vancouver. Brian R. has Nashville. Bruce C. Chicago. Dan H. Columbus. Mike I. Pittsburgh. Michael G. Vegas. Michael C. St. Louis and Philly. David M. has San Jose. Steve B. has Detroit. Andreas has Toronto, Mike I, Anaheim and the Rangers, Nick P, Minnesota, Curtis O, Montreal, Mike I, Arizona, Jonathan M, New York Islanders, Tampa Bay is Jacques, and Nick P has Washington. Who is ready to break? I am, I am. Do it, man, do it. I'll watch. Hey, I will watch your break, maybe even partake in it. So go for it. It's good to have dreams. All right, I'm going to go right to left because that's the approximate value of the boxes. We're going to start off with some upper deck 1819 synergy good luck everybody that's in enjoy watching everybody who isn't in let's see what we get Ooh. All right, feel free to call out the hits that you want to see. I tend to be pretty good at pulling them. It's not a perfect science, but it happens. Rasmussen rookie. Holgen rookie. That one's out of Sherwood out of 499, Mark Messier. Zvoral, 
rookie. Exceptional talent, that's going to be out of 749, Brett Howden. And Braden Holpe. My old supervisor, she was the biggest Washington fan in the world. And me being a Sabres fan, it made things kind of difficult. Glow shift. These cards would probably pop under blacklight. Just saying, probably would look good as a blacklight break. Johnny Goudreau. That's fetching off out of 199. As a matter of fact, Brandon, Brendan Lemieux. Oh yeah, that card is pretty cool under the blacklight. That would be an interesting blacklight break. <laughs> it's funny. You know, JR, it's funny you mention that. <laughs> I, uh, so, <laughs> here's, here's, here's what happened. Um, out of 299, I'm not a huge drinker anymore. Um, I used to run a nightclub in New York, and that kind of got it out of me. I will have the occasional drink, not a ton, but I joked about having, like, a fake glass of, like, scotch, which would really be iced tea, in a rocks glass just next to the thing. And uh, I was like, you know, hey, it'll be hip, like, you know, late nights, the, um, the Rat Pack, it'll be cool. And then I thought... Who in their right mind would buy a break from a guy who has a glass of liquid next to the cards? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> so I have a capped beverage way over here. It is, uh, it is some Gatorade. But yeah, I think it would be cool to have a little classy, class it up a bit. Um, listen, I will write in the book that somebody said I should be drinking during during my breaks. I will mention that it was, hey, the people want me to have a drink. I should have a glass of wine or a, at least a hard cider or something. Well, I hope that's not a card because that is on poopy paper. Stefan, I always cards don't show up very good, so I will do my best. Sub Zero, Alex de Brindicat. And then has that really funky background. Tuco Rast and Michael Backlund. These ice cards I think look pretty cool. I I am mixed when it comes to um, acetate cards, but sometimes they can pull it off. Scotch and a pipe. Smoke and a pancake. Jacob for his Becca Carlson out of 299 Premier Autograph. Um, is this the one? No, those are the big ones. I need more sleeves for you guys and girls. Thankfully, I have an entire shelf of supplies. One of the perks of having a warehouse full of cards. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot what I was saying. Well, whatever it was, and I, I'm sure it was funny. Or really not funny. Out of $12.99... Amadeo, Coutier, and Bjugstead. Never get the name right. Uh, these are spacers. I'm going to put them off to the side. We actually use them for shipping your items just in case your stuff doesn't fit. Exactly, we use the spacers that the card company sends out for their own product. Taves, Owen Tippett out of 249, and Mike Giordano. Let me pull that other number card that I just realized I didn't pull. I'm being very gentle. Bear with me. There we go. 
I just want to separate the numbered cards, make sure uh, they get their special attention that they deserve. All cards get great attention, but some of them more than others. Is it not numbered? Oh, apparently the Sub-Zero is not numbered, so I stand corrected. All right, keeping it moving, keeping it uh, moving. Doherty, Johansson, Dachin out of uh, twelve ninety nine or Dachin, Dachin, Vatanen. I'm terrible at hockey pronunciation. I know most of the players. I'm just bad at pronouncing their names. Eric Johnson. Here is Kaylor Yamamoto. That's his premier jersey. That is not numbered. Former saver Evander Kane and Shea Weber. Hockey can pull acetate. I really don't think any other sport can. On to the 1819 ice. With my boy Jack Eichel on the cover. That kid can play hockey. If anybody says no, they're a liar. William Carlson. That's the green parallel. Belpidio out of $9.99. Brent Burns rocking the beard. Playoffs. And here's a nice hint. Vladimir Trisenko, Monahan. How about exquisite rookie out of 199, Maxime Comtois? I don't even think this will fit in a thick holder, but we'll see. The trick is to snap that other side to preserve the corner. Will it work? We'll see. Didn't snap. There we go. Exquisite is thick with an extra C. And we got it. If you split the top corner, it'll save your corners so that you don't get a bang or a ding on there. So that is my recommendation to you. Bray Buter, out of 1299. And Malkin, out of nada. Sean Courtier. Thomas Chebo, Dylan Secura, that's a sub-zero rookie, out to the Blackhawks, that's Bruce's, Alex DeBrindicat, also, and Connor McDavid, never heard of him, maybe he'll get on Eichel's level someday. I'm just kidding, I know he's great. People get hurt when I say things like that. Anti Sumella, San Jose, Seth Jones. There's Devin Taves out of nine ninety nine. I feel like with the last name Taves, you just, you play hockey. That's all you do. Ryan O O O O'Reilly. Brady to Chuck. That's on a 999. There's a decent little rookie to add to the collection. Hello. I'll take it. You don't want it? Give it to DC. But don't give it to DC because he's not allowed to accept gifts. So figuratively, give it to DC and figuratively, he'll take it. Again, these are just the blanks. I keep them for shipping. 
18, 19, SPP, every pack is a hit. One card per pack, four packs per box. If you're out there, holler if you hear me, because it is silent in the chat. Aaron Eckblad. Not numbered. The last thing somebody said in the chat was scotch and a pipe, and it got everyone running for their scotch and or their pipe. But hey, if that's what we end on, there are worse things you can end on. Hey, Tyler Hall, 109 out of 149. Very silent, but I think we're just waking up a bit. I am not going to say no to this card. It's Tyler Hall, and it's an auto. It is a nice one. Uh, it's an auto, so it's not game-worn. Unless he... Well, I mean, in theory. Maxime LaJoy. Rookie that's not numbered. And let me see what it says. It just says worn by a featured player. So definitely, maybe, most likely, nah. Uh, typically, if it's game worn, because game worn is now becoming so rare, they usually write it right on the card. Uh, this one is definitely too thick for one of those flimsy ones. Uh, no, just a standard numbered auto. But hey, it's, I mean, it's still fantastic. This is cool. Eli Tovenin. Shadow Box. Out of two ninety nine, and that also will be too thick for a holder. For now, how much a box? Um, this was I don't even know what this was. Anybody that's in the break, um, let them know how much the break was. I don't set the prices, so honestly, I never look at them. Um, but we have all different price points. It depends on what you want to get into. Between personal breaks and group breaks, we usually have something for everyone. SP Authentic is next, just because that's the one I grabbed. Um, it's not individual boxes. This whole box is one big break. Duchesne, that's Brendan Perlini. Mr. O'Reilly. Yeah, I think the basketball one was the most expensive one. Everything else, I think, fell below that. I want to say the football was like 80. This one might have been like 70 or 80. We have them at all price points. Rookie, your milestones, Keller. Back-to-back -back hits. Well, back-to-back -back cards for the Blue Jackets. Shouldn't say hits. Um, the individual boxes. If you go to our site, you'll be able to look those up. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have them on hand. Authentic moments. Sveshnikov's first goal. I more or less just. Uh, I handle the breaking portion. All of the things are built, put together during the day. They ask for my input during the day. Uh, and then after that, it's just me breaking and chatting and hanging out with you guys. So I don't have a ton of the info, but uh, I'm sure we can find the answers. Uh, buy whatever the last box I opened. Uh, that was the... 
SPX. Yeah, that was the uh, 1819 X SPX. So if you jump on the site, just uh, look up Upper Deck Hockey SPX, and it'll say on it, uh, every pack is a hit. That was the one that I just broke. The nice thing about being the late breaker is I don't really have to worry about the pricing on items because by the time it gets to me, it's pretty much already sold with the, hey, Landon Bow, with the exception of the personal breaks and those items on the single box level, I can look up uh, with the person through the chat. That's an on-card Future Watch Auto out to Dallas. Dallas is Dan H. Congratulations. You have an autograph. So hopefully, Brett, that answered your question. If it didn't, I am sorry, and I will try again if you'd like. Connor McDavid, Oilers captain, scores four. So they actually bring them their hats? That's weird. That's a little... Uh, that is odd. But I guess if you're throwing it on the ice, you're giving them the hat. Do the ultimate... Um, okay, Ivan... I have this set up a very particular way. So that's Ovi getting his cup. So Ivan, which team do you have? Who are you looking for? Maybe I can pull it a little bit quicker. Oh, that is awesome. Dave Schultz. Sign of the Times on card from the 70s. Throwback, yes, please. That is so cool. I got to zip up. It got chilly in here. Philly. That's Michael C., buddy. Congratulations. That is a timeless autograph. And then there's these guys. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right, man. I get it. Wayne Gretzky, I actually pulled a Wayne Gretzky autograph Thursday night slash Sunday morning. Jonathan Taves, Spectrum Effects. That's the one that's got the barcode on the back. Um, yeah, I pulled a, a Gretzky out of 50 auto game used, and uh, I had chills. I literally had goosebumps. First Gretzky auto I ever pulled. It was on card, so that means I had greatness in my hands. If you took away all that man's goals, he would still be the point leader of all time. It's nuts to wrap my head around that. That's a Michael McLeod. Future watch. How about this? Because you requested it, I will do one of the ultimates next. Just to pick up the pace. Joe Sackick. I remember when he was drafted. That shows how old I am. I remember watching Owen Nowen's draft. Skinner. Anze Kopitar. All right, these are just as inserts. I'm going to toss them in our insert box.
Hey, Ivan, I'm going to let you pick, my friend. Uh, do you want 1718 or 1819 to go next? Question is for Ivan and Ivan only. Purple one. Good answer. All right, man. We will do that next for you, my friend. For you. Because we're hanging out. We're having a good time. Patrick Marlowe. Van Reemsdyke. Stone and Taves. Little switch action for Ivan. By request, with a bullet, of the purple one. Jake Bean. It's a young gun. All right, one time only. Going to jump the line. Let's knock out 1718 Ultimate Hockey. Let's see what Cray Cray is in here. Good luck, everybody, all the time. Get in it. Ultimate introductions, Evenge Svechnikov. How about Thatcher Demko out of 199? Out to Vancouver. That's Colin. Philip Chidel. Out of 99. To the Rangers. Who has the Rangers? Let's look. Rangers goes to Mike I. Jonathan Taves out of 99. And lastly, ultimate rookies, Ivan Babashev. Ivan, is this actually you? Did you know this was going to happen? And you're using a fake name on the internet? Hey, Tull? Hey, Tull. Hey, Tull? Hey, Tull? You know, I can honestly see it, C-H-Y being an H. Hey, Tull. Eh, it, it could be. I, uh, I admit... So because I only watch Saber Hockey and I don't catch a lot of the games every year, I don't get to hear the enunciation. Um, hockey is like my number two sport. Football is by far my number one. So I don't hear all of the names all the time, but I try. I'm not being hateful in my mispronunciation. Just slightly ignorant. In the definition, the Webster definition of ignorant, not the street definition of ignorant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Dowdy. Uh, there is John Tavares out of 213. That is a big hit in there. That is not a spacer. TJ Oshi. Oh, that is super cool. How about a puck auto? St. Louis. Mm, excuse me. Where is Michael C? If you follow hockey, you may have heard this guy's name. It's Colton Pareko. That is the puck auto. Need some more Sid the Kid pulls. Uh, yeah, yep, you were, I think you were there. Those were 
Some sick ones. Maybe a, what, out of three? Couldn't have been an out of three. Another Johnny Tavares. The ace, Jack Eichel. This is a Rookie Premier Trilogy Level 2, Brett Howden, out of 49, Patch. That's a beautiful looking card, by the way. Just saying. Whether you like the player or not, that's still a good looking card. Nice. Max Domi, Carey Price, Patrick Lane, Johnny Goudreau out of seven ninety nine. Yep, I dig it. Patrick Waugh. There's Hopley again, and his buddy Ovi with Tuka Rask rounding out the pack. I love chunky patches. I like him to be... There's Connor. I like him to be sticking out of the card at me. Alexander Barkov. Anze Kopitar. And Ryan Getzlaff. We had a hit. It was... Uh, it was the snap of a football player's helmet. It was so big, you couldn't close the box. It had this giant bow in it. So I went to open it. I was like, look at the size of this thing. Andre Svechikov. That's out of four ninety nine. It was nuts. Jordan Greenway. Oh, if you have Pittsburgh, um, yeah, man, I'll pull you a, a Crosby or at least a Malkin. Maybe a Tom Barrasso if you're lucky. Am I a Bills fan? God, yes. Barzal, out of 99, that is Eli Tovenin. That is the wrong size to put this in. Level one uh, for Nashville. And Gensel. All right, jump over to Artifacts. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of odd. It's like, hey, we have this great idea, but we can't execute it in time for the product to come out. So we'll give them a rain check. Unless it was game used, maybe they had to wait if it was game used. Claim your bounty. Artifact, artifact, artifact. Artifacts. I don't think I've opened artifacts yet, so we should have a monster hit in here because of my beginner's luck. If this is your first time in a break, you need to shout it out because we get uh, the luck here. So here is Jake Gensel. Unfortunately, there is a bend in the old corner from how it came out of the pack. Just want to point that out. No, I can't do anything about it. Jordan Greenway. Yep, this card too. This one has a bum corner on it as well. Looks like the two uh, base cards have bum corners and the patch card looks fine. Uh, this pack looks fine. Okay. Looks like it was a one-time thing. Oh, here we go. This is a wild card rookie redemption. Huh, interesting. So, um, I believe because this is wild card, it is no specific player until they reserve it when you call in. Because of that, I'm going to do a little research, but uh, we're going to random this to everybody that's in the break. So, uh, unless I can discover otherwise, uh, we're going to random that off to everybody. 
Um, let's look now while we have it fresh in our mind. be 2019 artifact hockey feel free to talk amongst yourselves while I figure it out no it doesn't it doesn't tell me a player yeah so uh, we're just gonna random it to everybody yeah, Beckett will have them listed, um, but since we don't know which one this one's going to be attached to, because it is wild card, um, then we have to random it to everybody that's available. Yeah, I see them too. It, there is a, a list, but uh, because nothing's listed on the card, I got to let everyone have a sh shot at it. So, we will random that at the end. If we get any, well, I don't see any Panini. It's all upper deck because Panini doesn't have the license. So never mind. I was going to say, if we have points, we'll do that too. Uh, but there are no points because there is no Panini. Casey Middlestat. Inostra. Teddy Bluger. That's a rookie out of 9.99. Yeah. Yep, we'll let uh, some lucky person get that at the end, and then they can tell us what they got, and then they can tag my Instagram and let everybody know, hey, DC pulled me this insane card of so-and-so. Fill in the blank. There's Lannis Gog out of 45. Max Pacoretti. Adam Enrique, Drew Doughty, Pasternak out of 399, out to Boston, Lenny to the Islanders. Rasmus Dahlin, autographed rookie redemption artifact X. Interesting, it also does not say. Interesting. I'll do some more research on that one, too, because X seems different than that. I wonder if that's the 10th pick. Let me find out. Let me see how they do that. Bear with me, folks. I want to find out. All right. I found the area. Bear with me a moment. So this one actually has an answer. Um, this is not a wild card. Um, I'm going to share with you a screen so that we all can understand where I'm making this decision from. Bear with me. So take a look. It says Artifact X Autographed Rookie Redemption. This is... So Roman numeral Rookie Auto Redemption Checklist. The odds are 1 in 250. X is Noah Dobson that is an Islander numbered to... 250. All of them go, it is Islanders. Yep. Uh, it is going, they have them listed out. So definitively, uh, this is going to be Noah Dobson. And I'm just going to show you, since I want to be in all fairness, 1920 Upper Deck Artifacts. That is where I'm getting the information from.
So Islanders de facto. That's Jonathan M. All right, so that at least alleviates that. Let me see if they have an answer for the... No, there is no answer for the ones that just have the uh, wildcard logo, so nothing on there. Yep, that's it. All right, back to the break. Sorry about that. Just want to make sure I get it right. Uh, one of the things you are going to learn about DC is I have integrity. I want to make sure it is correct. If I make a mistake, it is a genuine mistake. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure everybody gets what they need. Uh, the number on the back of the wild card. Oh, red 215. I see what you're saying now. Okay. I see what you're saying. I apologize for being slow on the uptake. Red 215 is, you are correct, Blackhawks, Kubelik. Let me share the screen so we are on the same page. Yep. That is Red 215, just like he said. I am slow on the uptake, but I get it eventually. And there is the red 215. So, indeed, that is going to Chi Town. Uh, yes, it didn't sell out, so uh, we ended up having to move it. Excellent. I'm glad you guys could help me out and find the, the homes for these. Saves us a lot of time. I would have hate to have had to have made that mistake. So I appreciate all of you jumping in. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. We are one big breaking family. All of us together. $2.99 Gensel. Akposo uh, and Wheeler. And this is why David Adams Card World has the best breaks. Because the people in the breaks are the best. That's Druin. That's a two jersey card for the Canadians out of 185. And Tyler Johnson. Seemed like there were only three cards in that pack. Let's get some clear cut hockey in here. <laughs> right? Right? Have no idea what it is. I so football did that. Football did that with SPX where they had the uh this is going to be the third running back chosen in the draft. So whoever was the third running back in the draft is who you got. Whether they were good or not. Maxime Comtois, rookie out of sixty five, going to the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. That's Mike I. All right, got to do a little house cleaning. Bear with me while I get your cards moved over. I mean, here's chronology. What I want, I want another Gretzky. I want to hold another Gretzky card. I don't even care what team he's playing for. I'm sure you guys care what team he plays for, but I just want another Gretzky. Yeah, Thomas, that got moved to next week. It didn't sell out. So that's going to be uh, Monday at 9 p.m. Dennis Savard out of 222. Ah, this is a cool hit. How about 12 out of 20, Adam Oates going to the St. Louis Blues. Michael C. take it home. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not going to throw Super Mario out of the car. 
I'll take a Super Mario. Dennis Marouk. Oh, people. Calgary. Who has the Calgary Flames? Colin. Colin, are you in the chat? Are you hanging out? Colin. Colin, if you're not hanging out and you're watching the video, everybody's going to cheer for you. 36 out of 36. Joe Newendike Diamond. There you go. Taking home a diamond. Now we're going to jump into the other Ultimate Collection. This one is the 1819 variety. Juso Valamaki out of 299. Drake Blatherson. Batherson. That's out of 299. That's going to be your rookie auto out to Atwa. Michael T. Goes with you. And the Bruins. 36 out of 99. That's Patrice Bergeron, Brad Marchant, David Pasternak, and David Krejci. That's game used. Andreas Johnson. Out of 399. And also ultimate introductions. Travis Dermott. One out of 25. Hey, Colin, there you are, man. I am so happy you're here to see that. Uh, Jason, it just depends on what people want. If people want to buy personal breaks and break that stuff, or if they want to, uh, get some people together and do a, a buy-in and a break, yeah, we could probably make it happen. Um, it wouldn't be today because I don't have any of it in stock, but if it was something that you would want, uh, send an email. I will put the email address. Uh, actually, you know, I'll put the email address right up here. Oh, momentum, por favor. I'm going to run out of space. It is Box Breaks at DA Card World. Box Breaks at DA Card World. Send them an email, tell them what you want to see, and maybe they can make that happen. Premier Hockey, Patrick Waugh, on the cover. Three boxes to go. Still looking for that big Pittsburgh hit that he asked for. Dennis Chalosky out of 299. Carey Price out of 199. To Edmonton, premier rookie Patch Auto, Evan Bouchard out of 249. Kiefer Sherwood, premier autograph. That one is nay numbered. 
out of 49, Drake Batherson. Brent the Beard Burns. And Steve Stamkos on a 99 Premier Swatch. Swatch what happens when I get the stick on the puck. Black Diamond, a fan favorite. I sell out of this stuff almost every single night for personal breaks. They had to give me a case today. Exquisite Black Diamond. We'll do the Exquisite first, just because... They should do a beard card. Uh, I got two ninety nine. That is Carey Price. Let's get a nice triple diamond relic here. I want multiple diamonds. I'm greedy for you guys. I am greedy for you. Jacob Voracek, you got to be kidding me. Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, could you just repeat what I asked for? What did I just say out loud? What did I say I wanted for you guys right now? Somebody do me a favor and write in there what I just said I wanted to do. I said I wanted to do something for you. Somebody say it. Somebody repeat what I said if you were listening. Nobody, nobody, nobody heard it. Oh, baby, a triple diamond. I said multiple diamonds. Who's got the Rangers? Hey, Mike I. Mike I, if you could have a Ranger with a triple diamond, that would be a young guy. Who would it be? What young guy would you want with three diamonds? If you're a Rangers fan, you may know the answer to this. If you're not a Rangers fan, you probably know the answer to this. The answer is Capo Caco. Good day, sir. 81 out of 99. I, You know what? I feel like... I feel like we got to, I feel like our relationship needs a little more spice. I feel like we need a little more from each other. My God, it's even bigger than that. Oh my God, that sounded terrible coming out of my mouth. Yep, that whole last three sentences do not work together. There you go. Triple diamond. Capo Caco. I'm going to say I called it because I kind of did. Daniel Sedin, manufactured patch. Jacob Silferberg. It's going to the Ducks. And a rookie gem, Eric Banstrom, out of 399. So that is the highlight so far, but now. We have two cups, starting with 1718. And then this monster hockey break will come to an end. like get a full workout just opening these things the cup is like the Fort Knox of hockey cards all right these are always fun so Blake Wheeler Winnipeg out of 249 this card is beautiful it is for the Kings Adrian Kempe, out of 249, 
On card auto sparkly sparkly patch. Not just any sparkly, but sparkly sparkly. And I'll tell you, this card might even be better looking. Zach Wierenski, out of 99. Out to the Blue Jackets of Columbus, Dan H. Who loves old-time hockey? Shout it out. Who loves old-time hockey? One of the best parts of old-time hockey were old-time goalies. There was one very famous hockey mask that people saw the mask and they knew the name. Scuba Vince, you're back again. Ryan, you love hockey. Old-time hockey. Cheevers. That is an on-card gold auto. That mask is iconic. Yeah, holy crap. That is an iconic goaltender right there. Boston. Boston. Go park the car in the Harvard Yard. Get your, get your car out of the car. Where are you at? Patrick F. Patrick F. Yes, that is a very nice looking card. It isn't numbered, but you know what? I don't care. It's just awesome. Those were when goalies were just tough guys with big sticks. So this one is going to be randomed. Seven out of ten. Boser, Barzal, and McAvoy patches trio premiums. Uh, that has to be random through those three teams. Jan Rutta out of 249. Let's not wait. Let's go ahead and random this right now. First of all, let's see if the Islanders, Bruins, and Canucks are owned by the same people. Uh, Vancouver? Nope, they're not. Okay, that made it easy. So let me... Let me show you the screen first. So here's how we're going to do this. Not the button I wanted to press. We're going to roll one die. Anything higher than one. Four. So we're going to take the three teams on there. We're going to random it four times. And whoever's on top after the four gets the card. Four times is the lucky number. If I could type. Okay, so we have the Bruins, the Islanders, and the Canucks. We're going to go four times here. All right, and the Trio Premium Material card is going to the Islanders. Let me just make a note, but John M., that is yours. And I'm going to put some stuff on there. So there we go. The random three-patch winner. It is in the books. It is real. All right, last box of the group breaks. Mixer Monday was a blast. I would say this is a hit. I think we all had some fun, and I think we're going to continue to have fun. Um, I have noted that everybody is already asking about next week's mixers. We will make sure that we get those out for you. 
Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Uh, reaching out and giving him a little hand to get to us and find us. Eighteen nineteen, the cup. This has some mean hits in it. I'm going to start out with Ryan O'Reilly on a 249. We'll follow that up with Sammy Niku. That is out of 249 out to Winnipeg. That's cool. Let me just remove this to make life easy. Eric Stahl, 5 out of 50. Endorsement Relic. That's going to Minnesota. Minnesota, Nick P. That's you, bud. Oh, uh, we're going to save that one. Yep, we're going to save that one for last because that is stupid. All right, Maxim Comtois, 249, rookie class of 19, 2019, even though he was a 2017 pick. Uh, Patrick Hornquist for the Penguins. Hey, man, it's not who you asked for, but for two out of 50, it's still a big hit for Pittsburgh. So I I guess you're welcome. Sorry it wasn't who you asked for, but it is a limited logo. Two out of 50. Uh, this card, it's just an auto. Um, I would say this has to rank up there with Gretzky. Uh, it does. This one definitely ranks up there with Gretzky as far as some of the great players to ever step foot on the ice. Uh, this last card is, is kind of a big card. It is numbered five out of 36. It is going to Boston. Greek. You are correct. Bobby Orr. Uh, again, man, this just doesn't do it justice. Let me let me get one. Either Greek saw it or Greek knew the type of level this card was on. But yes, ranks right up there with the great one. I say that is a very fitting closeout to this. Hey, Greek, that is some good deductions, man. I dig it. I dig it. It's kind of hard to hide the whole card, <laughs> but I try to make it. Um, but yeah, man, this is, I would say, I would say, or is on that level. So um, awesome closeout. Um, I want to take a moment. I want to say thank you to everyone. Um the the mixers were my idea. Uh, there was something that I wanted to get into. Uh, admittedly, they weren't too sure of that idea. So, Lemuer how exactly, Gordy. Um, so, thank you for selling these out quickly. Thank you for asking about next week's already. Um, by you doing that, it validates what I thought, and that is that this is going to be uh, a thing that we want to keep going, these mixers. Um I want to bring these mixers too. They're fun. They're just, they're, they're, they're a lot of different stuff. A lot of things thrown at you. It's a great time. So thank you for validating that point. Um, I will continue to ask for more mixers on Mondays and um, we will, we will move on from there. Um, it's 1204. I actually have about 45 minutes that I can do personal breaks for. If there is something that you are looking for, um, let me put this up on the screen, but I can do some personal breaks. Yeah, secret. That's that's what I'm 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 hoping. Steve, hey, no, thanks, 